Hey guys, this is Josh here from Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to bring you all an identification video on blue flag iris. This lovely flower that we're looking at here is the flower of blue flag iris. This plant is poisonous, so it's important to know how to identify it. Now, let's take a quick look at some of its identification features. Now, blue flag iris will generally bloom around the middle towards the end of May in my area of central Indiana. And we can notice this very, very distinct flower here with this kind of yellow tips towards the tips of the petals. Whenever we look at the petals, we're going to notice that there are these veins kind of running through the petals that are very, very distinct, and they are like a dark indigo sort of color. And whenever we look at the flower, we're also going to notice there are six petals. We have these three big ones with the yellow tips towards the, towards the end of them, and we have these three little smaller ones. The color is going to be indigo, it's sort of going towards the throat of the flower, it's going to turn into white, like I said with these yellow tips. If we turn the flower over, we're going to notice that the underside of the flower in the center is going to have this sort of greenish appearance. So make sure you kind of keep that in mind. Now whenever we look at the leaves of our blue flag iris, we're going to notice these veins running parallel down the length of these blade-like or sword-like leaves. If we count them, we're also going to be able to count four leaves coming out of the ground here. So one, two, three, and then four. And this is going to hold true on every of the blue flag iris that you are going to run across. If we zoom in and look at the margins of the leaves, we are going to notice that they are smooth, so there are no serrations on these leaves. Right here we can see the leaves of the blue flag iris, and they look somewhat grass-like, and they resemble cattail leaves very strongly. So make sure that you pay very close attention to the growth form of this plant before you harvest it if you're thinking you're going for cattail, because the growth form is vastly different. The blue flag iris generally will grow in large clumps and colonies like we can see right here in front of us, where it looks like all this really tall grass kind of growing here in this low swampland. Now let's take a close look at the part of the plant that's closest to the ground, because this is what's most important to differentiate this plant from cattail. Now whenever you're trying to differentiate cattail from blue flag iris, you want to get down close towards the ground because your blue flag iris will fan out, just like we can see here how all these leaves are fanning out. And if we turn it somewhat to the side here, you can see that it's flat. Now your cattails are going to be round, so let's take a look at a cattail really quick for comparison. Okay, now here we have the leaves of the common cattail. Now we can see these leaves look very, very similar to our blue flag iris. However, if we look down towards the base of the plant at the ground, we're going to notice that the cattail is actually round. See, if I turn this around, you can actually see that it's just perfectly, almost perfectly circular towards the base. And as we go further up, we're going to see those leaves sort of splay out on the cattail. Another one of the major differences between these two is not only their flowers, because you can obviously see these purple flowers here of this blue flag iris, and cattail has a very distinct sort of corn dog looking uh, sort of flower situation going on. But we're also going to notice the height. Your blue flag iris will generally only grow around three and a half to maybe four feet in height, versus your cattails, like we can see here, is already close, this is about four and a half feet already, but they can get much taller. Cattails can grow about six to seven feet in height. So the height difference is something else to pay attention to. So that's how you guys can identify the blue flag iris and differentiate it from cattail. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video. I thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.